All right, now not only are these guys getting out and exploring and going on little <laughs> puppy-sized adventures here in my office, uh, but they're also getting some big chompers coming through. And so when they're nursing, their mom's not super happy with them. And uh, whenever their teeth start coming in and the mom starts getting a little uncomfortable when they're, when they're nursing, it's time to introduce real food. Uh, so Charlotte and I went upstairs and we mixed up some puppy gruel. Uh, and now we'll, come on Charlotte, bring one of those puppies over here. We'll take a couple of puppies and put them some food down here, Charlotte. I'll watch them. Uh, put them some food on the cutting board. <laughs> now you might say, well, Stoney, why are you... Why are you feeding puppies on a cutting board? Uh, that's actually my wife's little cutting board, and she, when she sees this video, she's going to be mad. But we wanted uh, we wanted you to be able to see what it looks like when they're trying to eat. And uh, with the you know food bowl, we were kind of afraid that the lip of the food bowl would get in the way. So let's uh, let's do this. Let's move that out of the way, and we will put a puppy on each side and uh, see what they do. Now this is what's so crazy to me is that, you know, like uh, in the first video when I was showing you how the puppies naturally find a way to nurse, when they're ready to start eating, guys, uh, they just start eating. It doesn't take any real help, you know. They just kind of come over here and start sniffing and smelling and licking, and next thing you know, they're eating. Uh, now, one of the things you'll notice right off the bat is that uh, puppies, even at this, at this age, you know, sometimes they have uh, differential levels of natural appetite. So what you kind of do is you kind of watch them and you make sure that the bigger ones don't, uh, you know, don't get the lion's share of the food. And I'll tell you another thing that's real weird. Some of them, just like people, uh, they just have different bowel rhythms. And uh, so you can go to feed a puppy in, you know, at a certain time of day, and that puppy doesn't seem very hungry, you know, and the other ones seem just absolutely ravenous. Okay? But uh, if you switch the times of day, then sometimes uh, you know, who's, who's hungry kind of switches around. So this is pretty neat. See these two puppies here? This one like, is acting really hungry, you know. Now tomorrow that could be true or not be true. They're just like little children. Sometimes when you would like for them to eat, they just want to play. And uh, sometimes when uh, you want them to play, uh, you know, all they want to do is eat. So that's what your little notebooks are for. As you're, you know, tracking these dogs' development, you know, kind of keep, you know, tra try. <coughs> you don't have to be perfect with it, but try your best to keep daily logs of the dog's natural bowel rhythms because that's going to come in handy when you go to placing them with their owners. All right, now what we'll do is we'll go get a couple more uh, puppies and then we'll take the camera and we'll zoom in so that you can see their actual little mouths working there. What do you think, Charlotte? Great. They're doing great, aren't they? They're very good dogs. All right. Good. Let's get some more puppies. All right, I'm down here on puppy level. Let's introduce this guy, see what he does. Now, it kind of doesn't surprise me that this one went right to eating. Um, He's probably the most advanced out of the whole crew in terms of uh, like physical maturity, dexterity, balance, natural proprioception. And uh, so look, he's just eating big. I think he might have been uh, one of the first ones or the first one to open its eyes. Very nice. <laughs> he's like, hey, I might want some seconds, don't he? <laughs> Do you want some seconds, big boy? Get you some gruel on, on the cameraman's cutting board. There you go. Wow, what a good eater. <laughs> ah, I love watching them eat. It's so neat to watch them develop. And like I said, guys, you know, we, as dog trainers, a lot of times we really spend a little bit too much time bragging about uh, what we do, you know, in terms of teaching dog things when really what we should be doing is kind of standing back a little bit and just putting them in situations where they can learn on their own. Wow, that's great. You're the best eater I've ever seen. This puppy got a little lab in him. <laughs> you know for sure, already at this age, uh, these puppies all want to be labs and all labs want to be black. <laughs> So you're even eating like a nice black lab, aren't you? Oh, you're good. Now watch, he's going to be mad when I take him away. You're going to leave. All right, little buddy. Okay, look here. Look what I have. Very nice. Oh, what is that, he says. What is that, Stoney? 
You like the gruel? Very good. Now the first time that they eat, uh, don't expect them to get full, you know? Just uh, what you're gonna see is they're just gonna kinda lick it and smell it and get it on them and uh, make some smacking noises, you know? And then they'll lose interest pretty quick. But just one or two days and they will be steady little eaters. Let me show you. Can you see his face there? Okay, yeah, you can move it a little bit closer. Okay. Let's try to get it right over here so we can see what the puppy's up to. Okay. Very nice, perfect. Now that one's going right to town. Ain't it funny how they, <laughs> ain't it funny how they're different from each one uh, to the another? Now you might have to take your finger and put a little bit of that gruel on there and like let him lick your finger a little bit. Like pick it up and put it in your hands. Don't let him come off, oh no. Ah, sorry puppy. There you go. Good, let's get him so they can see his mouth. There we go, good. Is that good? Now that one, I mean he really loves food. Charlotte, I have some friends like that when I was little. Even when they were little bitty kids, they just loved food. Oh. They were always eating, eating, eating. Even when it was their playtime? Even when it was their playtime, they always had some, <laughs> some kind of food in their face. <laughs> Very nice. All right, now this one is the cameraman's favorite. We'll see how she responds. What do you think, little sweetie? You don't need to be getting the crumbs. I have a whole... <laughs> Listen, I just went to a lot of trouble with that spatula to make the food into a nice looking patty for the video. And this dog completely missed it. I staged the whole thing for you to look good. Now you're standing in your patty. <laughs> uh, it's kind of like when you watch a, like a, you know, you've watched a mom with her first child and she's got on her nice little bib and got the nice little outfit on the, on the child and gives it the food and the food's in the hair. You know, she's trying to video the, <laughs> the first meal. <laughs> oh, children and puppies never cooperate. Hey, what are you doing? Did you see her put her whole face down in there? Like trying to, some of them guys, they, you know, like, you know how some people are where they, they, when they eat or drink, they just dive their whole face in it. They just, they just love it. You go out to eat with somebody and you can't even see their face because it's all down in their plate. Some puppies are the same thing. Like you'll see them and they'll just kind of attack the whole bowl or in this case, cutting board. Looky here, we got a little bit of patty left. We got a little bit of patty left. Not a finger. Look at here. There you go. What a good eater. All these guys are pretty good eaters. I'm hoping you guys can see the way that they naturally, you know, like shovel that, or, you know, the, the naturally the way they lick the food. Now, what a lot of you don't know probably is that you see how this puppy's licking this food up and uh, kind of using its tongue to mash that into the back of its mouth and swallow it. Well, a puppy's tongue, I'm gonna try to get some footage of this if I can. When they're drinking water, people don't know this, but their tongue like acts like a ladle and a puppy ladles food, uh, water up into its mouth. And so I'm hoping that uh, this footage is good enough to show you how they use, a, use their tongue to lick the food up and then use their tongue to kind of push it towards the back of their mouth. And then we're gonna try to get like maybe a little clear bowl or something so we can show you how their tongues uh, are used as ladles to get water in their mouth. Very nice. Oh, you're a good puppy. You're a smarty. <laughs> okay, so my whole camera studio is under attack by puppies. They're tearing my lights down, and uh, we've lost track of who's been out of the run and who hasn't. So I'm just gonna put them up here a couple at a time now. Look, watch them compete. 
I was kind of uh, hoping at some point in this that you might be able to see just a teeny bit of conflict over the food, just to kind of give you an idea of how that already starts to emerge at this age. But they're so stoked about eating for the first time, they're not, uh, they're not fussing, which is a good thing, but it would have been useful for the demonstration. Oh, I'm being chewed on. I'm being chewed on by somebody who wants to come up and join the party. Oh, here, look. I just bring a lot of them up here. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I should have done, done this on the floor. <laughs> Here, stay here. <laughs> uh, look, get where the food is, dogs. Put your head back in the food, dog. <laughs> not your feet. Your face. You're supposed to eat with your face, not your feet. You're supposed to eat with your face, not your feet, dog. Right, I think this is the last one. There you go. Now you just eat till your heart's content. You can just eat till your heart's content. <laughs> this one's just kind of happy to be up there. He's kind of a little fella. Or a little girl. Let's see. Little girl. She's like, Stoney, those big dogs sometimes, they're hard to keep up with. So I need a little bit of time just for me. I need a little bit of extra time just for me. Hmm. Come on, you want to try one more time? It's all yours. Look, 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 nerd. <laughs> She's like, nope, I got things to do. <laughs> What's it doing, Lexi? Oh, what do you guys think about this snow? Oh my gosh, what do you guys think about the snow? What do you think, Lexi? Are you happy to be out in the snow? Very good dog. Oh. Oh my gosh, such good babies. Oh my gosh, such good babies. Oh, come get on Uncle Tony. Oh, look at these good babies. Oh, look at these good babies. Oh my gosh, you're such a good dog. Are you a good dog? Very, very fine animals. You're very fine animals. Oh, oh, you're hooking me with your claw. Mm. Puppies at this age, they have really sharp little claws. Uh, they're almost like cat claws at this age. You can probably hear them getting caught on my jacket. Oh, but I like to get down here and wrestle with them and play with them and get them acclimated to like interacting with people on a lot of different levels. Oh my gosh. And this is especially important, you know, for those dogs that maybe are gonna do uh, some type of protection work or guard work later. Oh, they need to start to learn these motor patterns. Oh my gosh, at an early age. Oh, they're attack dogs. Oh, you an attack dog, you a good farm dog. You a good farm dog gonna protect your farm. What about you, you a good farm dog? Huh? It's important to realize, guys, that all these dogs, for all of them, talk about them having whatever kinds of jobs. Uh, you know, down deep inside, they're just farm dogs, you know, that, uh, oh, they started off protecting their farms, and then people started breeding them for other specific things. Oh, but at heart, that's where these dogs really excel. It's just getting out, oh my gosh, and having a family to love and protect. Maybe a few sheep and cows, a couple of geese. Some ducks. Oh my gosh. Uh, and up there in the distance somewhere, I, I'm missing one. I can hear. <coughs> I'm not talking to you. Puppy, puppy, puppy. See if we can call that one. I don't know how it ended up. I'm not talking to you. 
Now some of them, remember I was telling you last week that like their personalities start coming out early? <laughs> this one here, no matter which one you're trying to talk to, uh, it thinks you're talking to it. <laughs> now you can see, like right off the bat with these puppies, like you'll hear me using the same vocalization patterns that I use with the older dogs. Um, and a lot of times people are like, hey Stoney, did you teach them to come uh, using those vocalization patterns and the answer is no I didn't teach them to come dogs naturally come to uh, like certain sounds <laughs> and certain postures and look at this dog now this is the one thing about having a dog that likes attention is uh, even when they're a good mom like this one <laughs> they don't really like giving away all their attention so she's going to try to get over here and hog the attention from me but these puppies are going to nurse her and then they're going to be getting her with their little teeth and she'll end up leaving us alone here in a second look <laughs> She wants a mama's day out, is what she wants. So I'll get back down here to playing with these puppies so you guys can see kind of, oh, what they do. And this is what puppies like to do. They like to wrestle and play and climb. Oh my gosh, very good dogs. Oh, and there comes mom back. Oh, and there comes mom back. Oh, mom wants some attention. And like I said, she'll come over here and try to get some attention. And then these puppies will go to nursing, so she'll go away. You guys will kind of see how skinny mom is, and this is the benefit of breastfeeding, guys. <laughs> when you breastfeed, you lose those baby pounds quick. And uh, so Lexi's been breastfeeding all these uh, <laughs> big puppies, and uh, like the biomass of the puppies are almost more than the biomass of Lexi. So she has lost all her baby weight and then some. And so we gotta, we're really pouring the food to her. She's eating a ton of calories every day, but until we actually get these puppies weaned, uh, she's gonna look pretty skinny. Then she'll bounce back in about a week or so. Now, like uh, one of the things I want you to notice while they're nursing uh, is how like, uh, you know, the, the mom pulls away from them. And like I said earlier, it's because they got them little teethers going. Well, when I go to playing with them, watch, if I lay down here and go to playing with them, Oh my gosh, you'll notice they come up and they lick and they bite, okay, because these puppies are in a big oral exploratory phase right now. You know, I say this in a lot of my videos, but puppies don't have thumbs, right? So they have to explore the world with their mouth. And uh, if you do a good job with puppies in the socialization period, like starting uh, really kind of at three, four weeks, like letting them like put their mouth on you, uh, and giving them feedback at this stage, then you really don't have much of a problem with that puppy biting that uh, that pops up so often. You know, that's one of like the most common questions that dog trainers get asked is, "Hey, Stony, what do I do about this puppy biting?" And you can kind of see this puppy here is biting on my biting on my glasses, biting on my beard. They're uh, they're biting on my jacket. Okay, and these kind of dogs, they like to bite, you know, they like to bite and rip and tear and carry on. And so you want to start, if you're a, you know, if you're a dog breeder, or if you're helping a dog breeder, you want to start helping, uh, like, give the puppies feedback, proper feedback as to, you know, what constitutes uh, appropriate uh, oral behavior and uh, what, <laughs> what constitutes inappropriate behavior. Now, these guys here, like uh, maybe we'll want them to chase and bite stuff later. So we might encourage them to bite on the clothes and pull and rip and carry on. And usually, guys that like these kind of dogs, that's their favorite. Uh, that's their you know, that's their favorite thing to do is like take videos of the puppies like attacking their clothes and uh, send it to their buddies. Like, hey, look at this monster! Look at this alligator! Look at this whatever! You know. Now I usually like that also, but today I'm wearing my fancy. Uh, like lightweight goose down jacket so I'm not too thrilled about it now if I had on my car heart I would be encouraging them to bite on me <laughs> but not on this fancy outdoor research jacket oh my gosh but uh, that's kind of what they look like during the socialization period when they're oh my gosh I think four and a half weeks old is I think how they're but this is about what they're doing now in this next week week and a half uh, what uh, will happen is these oh, let me show you their ears will start to stand up and they look a lot better look Look how good that dog's going to look when its ears stand up. <laughs> oh, and so we'll get a lot, plenty of that in the videos. And the next video, we'll take them down to the course and start uh, letting them climb on the uh, exercise with small challenge equipment. And uh, hopefully by next week, we'll have some weight back on this girl so she looks uh, muscular and we can start giving her some attention because <laughs> she is an attention hog. Okay, another thing that you want to introduce puppies to at a really young age is uh, other dogs. You know, now this is Bubbles, and uh, Bubbles is a little camera shy, so he doesn't like the having the camera pointed at him, which is kind of a common border collie thing. But uh, Bubbles is, uh, 
he gives he gives puppies good feedback, you know. Like he'll uh, he's pretty patient with them, and he'll fuss at them if they need fussing at. But we like to bring him out here and let him start mentoring these puppies, oh, as quick as possible. Oh, Bubbles love these puppies. Oh my gosh, and Bubbles loves you. Give Bubbles a kiss, and Bubbles loves you. Oh, we'll give you some hugs, and Bubbles loves you. Oh my gosh, and what about you two? Does Bubbles love you too? Oh. Yes, Bubbles loves you, and Bubbles loves you. <laughs> we got love to go around here, you know. I'm telling you, guys, basically, every unit of labor that you put in to socializing puppies early pays exponential benefits later. Okay, so if you're if you're if you're thinking about getting into dog breeding business, uh, if you have uh, you know any plans on maybe just having a litter yourself. Go ahead and put the work in early, and the people that get those puppies from you, they're going to thank you so much. I mean, you're basically, by putting this work in early like we're doing with these puppies, then we're pretty much guaranteeing these puppies their best chance of success later on in life. You know, puppies are just like people. They need love, and they need it early, you know. And so you can't ever go wrong exposing your puppies to stimulus-rich environments and giving them plenty of love and plenty of exercise. Ain't that right, Bubbles? You're a very good dog.